What's up YouTube? What's going on guys? Got another mobility for you today. It's going to go in the Mobilicia series. We're talking about thoracic extension. I don't want to get too technical on this one, but this is something most of you guys are probably dealing with. Now I'm going to get into what it is here in a sec. But um, if you just drive every day, if you sit in front of a computer often, it doesn't even have to be for super extended periods of time. Um, it's not my job to drive or sit in front of a computer. Well, I guess it kind of is if you count YouTube, but I don't do it for very, very long every single day. Yet, I still deal with this issue a lot. Most of my clients that reach out to me and start up with me, we have to fix this right off from the get-go. So more than likely, if you just kind of exist, if you do one of those things, if, if you're a normal human being who's just kind of out here in front of your body a lot, you're going to probably deal with the lack of thoracic extension. Now, let's get into the definition of what I mean by that. So basically, um, on your back, you got three areas. You got the neck portion, the cervical part of the spine. You got the lower back, the lumbar part of the spine. And then you have the thoracic region of the spine, which is basically at the end of the lower back all the way to the start of the neck. All the muscles in between there, um, or excuse me, all the area in between there is the thoracic region of your back. Now, when we say thoracic extension, we're talking about the lack of thoracic extension uh, with the musculature that surrounds that portion of the spine. So anything dealing with the lats, the traps, uh, the rhomboids, all those muscles, basically sometimes it can get restricted because say you're driving a lot, right? Your shoulders are kind of rounded over forward as you're driving and these muscles get tight and tense and then you can't get back into that extended position. So when we go to squat, we might get under that bar and you notice, shit, I can't really get my shoulders too well under that bar, can't get the elbows down, or you can't get extended, or if you're front squatting, you won't even be able to get your elbows into position, whether you use the front or cross grip. If you're overhead pressing, you probably can't get your arm locked out completely over your head without arching your lower back really hard. All these things are gonna cause issues with positional stuff. It'll cause injury, um, your muscles won't activate, right? So this is something that needs to be fixed. And a lot of people don't even know that they lack this, but there's some kind of simple test you can do. Go ahead, stand right now, squeeze your glutes together, tighten your core, and don't let those move. And while you're doing that, try to press your arms straight over your head and lock out the elbow without extending at your spine. Keep your spine completely neutral. If you can't get that arm and that elbow completely in line with the side of your head without extending somewhere, um, creating mobility at another joint, you're probably lacking thoracic extension. If you notice you can't squat properly and stay in the upright position, your back rounds over, or you can't get into an extended position in the deadlift, you probably lack thoracic mobility. So use some of these signs, guys, figure out if this is an issue for you, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so now let's get into it. How do we get from that flex position back into that extended position so we can squat, overhead press, deadlift, do all those good things again? Well, it's actually pretty simple. This is one of those mobility uh, issues where I find you don't need a lot of variation. There's really just four exercises that I've used for everyone and they always work. A lot of the other mobility issues, you gotta kinda play around with different areas and hunt around with different things. This one's pretty straightforward. If you just do these four exercises I'm about to show you right here, it'll fix it. So this first one you're seeing here, I'm essentially just grabbing any PVC pipe, I'm placing my elbows on the bench like you see, and I'm essentially shifting my hips back, which is stretching out my lat, the rhomboids, all that stuff. And I'm holding that position and sometimes I bounce a little bit and I'm just essentially stretching this area out over and over again. It's a very simple one to do and this is going to release that rhomboid and the lats more than anything and help get those uh, that thoracic extension back that you're lacking. This is probably one of the bigger ones that's helped me more than anything. Now the next exercise I'm doing here, um, it's very simple. You just get on a foam roller, extend your arms behind you, have a barbell ready and go ahead and grip onto that barbell. I had one of my clients, Parker, try this out for the first time when I found this mobility drill, and it seriously took him, he had some of the worst thoracic extension I've ever seen, and it seriously fixed it, like, almost overnight. Like, it was a couple weeks of doing this, and it was so much better. Uh, he's someone who sits at the computer all day long, but as you can see, you just hunt around for different areas, rolling back and forth, while you extend those arms overhead. We're getting into that position we wanna get. We're getting extended at the thoracic region. Third exercise, banging through it. Um, this one's kind of weird. Just hang from a pull-up bar, and essentially, uh, you can do a uh, supinated grip or pronated grip, and just pop your head through a couple times while keeping your core tight. The trick is core tension. Um, if you just extend it your lower back, you're creating mobility from another joint. 
we're not going to be increasing that thoracic mobility. So you need to make sure the core is tight so your lower back's not arching to help you out and you're really pushing the tension onto that, the thoracic muscles. Now lastly, uh, the fourth exercise, the fourth drill you guys can do, uh, you might have seen me do this in a couple vlogs. I did this with my client Tessa, but I'm going to show it again. Essentially just shift your elbows into a band that's strung up from a rack above you. And all you're going to do is kind of similar to that first uh, mobility drill we did where we were using the PVC pipe. You're just going to get those elbows as far over your head as you can, stretch out the lat, stretch out the rhomboid. The thing I like about this is you're doing it single arm and you're actually getting uh, to use your body weight to almost like lean in and really stretch it out. And there's something about this one that's a little bit different than the PVC pipe one. It seems to hit some different areas. I just like it. Uh, and it's something that I've used. All right, so there it is. Those are the four drills, the mobility exercises you should be doing to fix this. It's very simple. Now let's talk about the timing of each one. Uh, with the PVC pipe one on the bench, just do that one holding for either 30 seconds to a minute pre-workout or two, up to two minutes post-workout. Um, and you can also like pulse it. You can do like reps of like 15 where you shoot the hips back and then go forward, shoot the hips back, go forward and just do reps of 15. Second mobility drill with the foam roller and the barbell. Um, just hunt around and honestly do that one until you feel loose. I would say it's probably going to take about 45 seconds to a minute, but just hunt around in there. You're not doing as much stretching so you don't worry, have to worry so much about the time. You're more so putting yourself in the position you want to do and that foam roller is really digging into anything that's knotted up or hypertense and it's releasing those muscles. For the third exercise, when you're hanging from the rack, just pop your head through there maybe 15 times. You can hold it, kind of go back and forth and hunt around. Mobility isn't a set protocol kind of thing. Just play with it until you feel loose, until you feel like you're in a good position. Um, so maybe you need this longer, maybe you need it shorter, but just hunt around. Same thing with the last mobility drill with the elbows through the uh, resistance band. Just throw it over the rack, lean in, stretch it out, hold it about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, maybe up to a minute. Again, don't hold it too long pre-workout and just hunt around, guys. Um, that's really all there is to it. Do them, guys. Until next time, um, like, comment, do all that stuff. Let me know what you want to see in the next mobility video. I will see all of you later. Thanks for watching.